Hi, I'm Dr. Sarah Barrett. I'm a physical medicine and rehabilitation physician with Stedman Hawkins Clinic of the Carolinas and Greenville Hospital System. I will be performing your hip injection today. Uh, this is an injection into the hip joint itself and is typically performed for pain in the anterior groin or pain related to osteoarthritis or arthritis of the hip joint. Uh, we use x-ray guidance for this procedure in order to confirm that we have correct placement in the hip joint. Risks that I need to let you know of are uh, bleeding. Uh, please let me know if you're on any blood thinners, including aspirin, Coumadin, Plavix, uh, anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen, or Aleve. Uh, infection, we use sterile technique, and this risk is uh, very, very small. Uh, a risk that it will not help you uh, based on your symptoms. Uh, I feel that it is a good injection for you, and I'm hopeful that you will have good relief. Uh, we will take you back into the fluoroscopy suite, and you will be laying on your back. Um, I will then uh, palpate your femoral artery, which is a large artery that runs in your groin, uh, which we obviously want to avoid with the procedure. We will then mark that and make sure that we stay far lateral or on the outside of that artery throughout the procedure. Uh, we will then clean you off well uh, with sterile technique and use x-ray guidance uh, to guide the needle uh, into the hip joint. Um, before we do guide the needle into the hip joint, we will give you some numbing medication superficially. Uh, you'll feel a stick and a burn with this, like a bee sting, and oftentimes patients say this is the worst part. Uh, once we have reached the hip joint itself, we will give you contrast dyes, so please let us know if you have any allergies to seafood or iodine. Uh, it, once the contrast dye spreads adequately around the hip joint, we will administer the medication, which includes steroid and numbing medication. The entire procedure should only take 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, the numbing medication that we give you may cause you to have significant improvement in your symptoms almost immediately after the procedure. This will wear off later in the day. Uh, the steroid can take several days up to uh, a week to two weeks to work. Uh, so don't be surprised if you feel a little worse over the next few days. If you have muscle soreness in the anterior groin, you can use ice as needed uh, throughout the day. Um, I will see you back, uh, or your referring physician will see you back in approximately two weeks. Uh, by that time, we should see the full effect of the uh, injection today. Please let me know if you have any questions, either before, during, or after the procedure.